Hello everyone and welcome back to part 2 of my design team project for Line.Arrow. We are making a altered book and I'm going to continue on this double side pocket page. I'm going to look through the papers to see what paper I want to use. I will link all the information of the um, design project down below. I decided to use these three papers, they work very well together. And I'm going to cut them to size and glue them down. I'm going to roughen up the edges as well and ink around them. Then I'm going to glue down the pocket. And then I tried sewing the paper in my sewing machine and it totally went wrong. I have no idea why I thought this would work. Uh, so yeah, I do not recommend sewing pages that are still inside a book uh, with your sewing machine. It does not work. I'm then going to work on a focal point and I'm going to use one of the photo strips that were inside the kit. And I'm going to use some of the pictures that I've printed on acetate. I'm then going to glue the photo strip on top of a piece of the craft card stock from Tim Holtz and I'm going to roughen up the edges quite a bit.
At first I'm going to use my sanding disc and afterwards I'm also going to use my scissors to make it even more distressed. I'm then going to attach the pictures and I'm only putting a tiny dot of glue on the corners because I'm going to sew them uh, onto the paper as well. I'm then going to glue it onto one of the papers that we have torn out of the book. And I'm then going to tear the edges. After tearing, I'm also going to ink. And then I want to do some stamping in between the pictures. I'm then going to distress this document which is also in one of the April kits and I'm going to tear the edges. I have printed this on newspaper print because it's way thinner and it feels older I guess. I'm then going to rip a part of the leather and stick some aged tape over it. And then I'm going to look for something to put on the bottom of this panel because the sewing machine, yeah, it, like I said, it 
didn't work so it's a, there's a part of sewing missing and I'm going to cover that up. And I'm going to distress it with my sanding disc and scissors probably. I'm then going to add some cheesecloth to the side of the photo strip. And then I'm going to add some eyelets into the corners. I then want to do some stamping. I'm then going to add a few labels and these are from the washi stickers that I have, very cheap ones. I have put these washi stickers on some uh, thicker paper and then used my sending disc. I'm also going to add two tickets from Tim Holtz.
I'm then going to add a lace trim. And I love this piece of lace because it's really discolored. I'm then going to uh, make a journal card and I'm going to use two index cards backed uh, together, going to roughen up the edges. And after that, I'm going to use some vintage photo to uh, color them. And I'm going to use my brush to uh, yeah, put the ink on. I'm going to do that on both sides. And then I'm going to spritz some water over it, wait a few seconds, and then I'm going to take some paper towel and then take off the water. I'm then going to ink around it, and after that I'm only going to do some stamping. With that, the uh, video is almost over. I might do some extra decorations to the page later. I'm not sure yet, but at this time, this was all I uh, did. Uh, I wanna thank you all for watching. I hope you are enjoying this project. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have not yet subscribed, please consider to do so because it really helps my channel grow. Uh, I want to wish you all a very nice day wherever you are and I will see you in the next video. Bye!